Welcome back to Keep It Real Boxing. This is Cypher Box, and as most of you have prob probably already heard, World Boxing News has put out an article. They had a exclusive with Shelley Finkel, that's the one of the co-managers of Deontay Wilder, and he gave World Boxing News a bit of an update on the whole situation with Deontay Wilder and signing the contract. Um, he spoke a little bit about Eddie Hearn as well and kind of replied to Eddie Hearn's comments to Sky Sports News that Deontay, what he doesn't believe Deontay Wilder wants the fight with Anthony Joshua. Um, so what I'm going to do is read the article to you and then, um, and then give you my opinion on it all. And by the way, just to let you know that the Express newspaper here in the UK have published this story also online. Okay. Boxing World News have exclusively been in touch with Shelley Finkel on Monday and Deontay Wilder's co-manager and advisor asked us to set up, set the record straight on a number of issues regarding a fight with Anthony Joshua. Finkel has revealed a contract will be sent back to Matchroom by Friday. Finally, Finkel also wanted to give his side to some recent comments by Joshua's promoter Eddie Hearn. First of all, I want to make it clear that Deontay Wilder wants this fight more than Anthony Joshua does, which is evidenced by the fact that Wilder accepted a flat purse for this fight, which is unheard of, unheard of for a fight of this magnitude. He also accepted to fight Anthony Joshua in the UK, while Anthony Joshua did not accept the $50 million offer which Joshua originally asked for, plus a percentage to fight Wilder in the US. Finkel exclusively told World Boxing News in a call on Monday. Eddie thinks I dislike him. He is wrong. I just have a difference of opinion with him of what a fact is. When I state something is a fact, I have written proof to back it up. I dare Eddie to do the same. To clear up, one other fallacy, Eddie knows that they have a written term sheet from us which details our $50 million offer for Anthony Joshua to fight Deontay Wilder in the US. We have never received from them a response to this term sheet. Below is the correct chronological of where we are with the contract for Anthony Joshua Deontay Wilder mega fight. On June 11, 2018, Deontay Wilder accepted Matram's offer to fight Anthony Joshua in the UK. This took Matram by surprise, never thinking that Wilder would accept their below market offer. Shortly after, Eddie Hearn went public saying that we would receive a contract by Friday, June 15th, when in fact we didn't receive a contract until late Monday, June 18th. On Tuesday, June 19th, we requested clarification of two points. They did not respond. I requested them again on Thursday, June 21st, and we finally received a response on Friday, June 22nd. Two days later, on Sunday, June 24th, I sent them a letter acknowledging Eddie's email of June 22nd, telling them they would have the contract back by Friday, June 29th. Since the contract did not state the date or the venue, I also asked for that information. These are the facts and Matchroom will have the contracts back to them by Friday, June 29th, he added. All being well, fans can begin to look forward to one of the biggest heavyweight fights of the last two decades. That date and venue mentioned by Finkel will be revealed once Joshua and Wada have signed their portions of the deal. Now, what you see on the screen here now is a screenshot from Fight Hype's video, which they just put up about an hour or so again, ago, sorry. And they took a screenshot from Deontay Wilder's page where he was having a conversation with one of his fans. Um, and basically what Fight Hype didn't do was, was they didn't include the actual time that Deontay Wilder made reply to this uh, fan okay um, and as you know if you're on Instagram you'll know that when you make a comment it will say at the bottom 18h which basically means 18 hours ago or whatever yeah so what I've done is I've 
got my gone on to uh, his Instagram uh, page and got my own screenshot of this conversation. And here it is. So here's my screenshot of that conversation. And as you can see at the bottom, right at the bottom of Deontay Wilder's comment, it says 18H, which means, you know, um, it was about 18 hours ago when he made that comment. But look, I'm going to read it out to you anyway, yeah? So the fan basically says to Deontay, sign the contract, please. Uh, sign the contract, bro, please. Never sign anything that's not agreed. It's not, it's not right. That was Deontay Wilder's reply. I apologize to all you guys. I know this has been extremely ridiculous and it's sad. A grown ass man is playing with fans all over the world emotions and thinking this shit's funny. Their plans aren't to, aren't to see the best face the best, but to only see how much rave revenue they can bring in while they can. And these are, fa are the facts. The sooner these guys are out of the sport, the better. But don't worry, they will have their day. Promise. Love you. Love to my fans. Sorry. Champ. So a lot of you are probably thinking, well, why did you reference that conversation in a comment set in a comment section of an Instagram post in on Deontay Wilder's um, on Deontay Wilder's Instagram page? Simply put, I didn't feel Fight Hype did a good enough job on it. And I wanted to make it clear to everyone because I know what people are like out there. They're going to come back and say, well, did you watch that Fight Hype uh, video? Oh, he hasn't signed the contract and you know what's going to come. So I thought, how, you know what? Best thing to do is to kind of squash that straight away and prove that that comment that I just read from Deontay Wilder was posted like 18 hours ago. All right. So that was way before this story from World Boxing News came out. OK, I just wanted to clear that up. So there's none of this nonsense that, oh, the fight hype video showed this and stuff like that. Um, no. All right. I've squashed it. End of. So here's my take on this news that's been broken by World Boxing News. You know, a few hours ago when this story was, uh, when this story broke, um, I was just running a random search for Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder. And I thought, let me see if there's been any, been any updates in terms of signing contracts and stuff like that. And obviously I found this article. Now, I was also at the time sort of debating with a guy on, in the comment section of my last video on this topic about Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder. And then he hit me up with a comment saying, it's on three thumbs up. I said, yeah, I've just seen the uh, article from World Boxing News. Where did you get your news from? And he said he got three notifications from channels that he subscribes to. Now, and I'm not going to lie, the two of us, we were very excited. I said, this is music to my ears, that Deontay Wilder signing the contract, the fight's on. And then 10 minutes later, I just slowed down. And I just thought, hold on, think about it. It takes two to tango. We, you know... Deontay Wilder's done his part. Yeah, he's signed the contract. Shelly Finkel has confirmed it's been signed. He's now going to send it out and it should reach matchroom by Friday. What we need to see now is Anthony Joshua signed the contract and the fight should be on. And we need to officially see, oh sorry, officially hear Eddie Hearn announce that the fight is on. Okay. Remember Mayweather Pacquiao and all this sort of stuff, you know, people waiting for contracts to be signed, etc. Even with Rigondeau and Lomachenko months, you know, back then I was on about that. I said, and I've always said this in my videos, seeing is believing. Yeah, even hearing is believing. Yeah. And I need to see that both parties have signed the contract and the fight is on and it needs to be officially announced. So I'm not going to get too excited or too carried away with this just yet. Okay, I hate to put a bit of a negative spin on it. I'm, you know, and I know a lot of people are probably going to, you know, give me a lot of grief over this. But let's be honest. Okay, I've done plenty of videos where I have talked about and provided evidence and proof as to the fact that Eddie Hearn has been playing nothing but games in this whole situation okay i've proved it 
Even this guy I was debating in the comment section, even though he'll disagree with me, I'm sure. Yeah, I proved it to him as well. Okay, and I've provided nothing. I've documented this very well in my videos that Eddie Hearn has played nothing but games. All right. So until I see at that or see and hear that Anthony Joshua has signed the contract and actually hear Eddie Hearn saying, yes, we've got the contract. Yes, Anthony Joshua has signed it also. We're on. Yeah, the fight's on. You fans are going to get what you want. You're going to get a mega unification heavyweight fight for the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world with starring the two best heavyweights on the planet period that's my take on it yeah i don't want to say anything more than that i just want to say that look you can't get carried away you've got to see both sides have signed the contract and it has been officially announced so until i hear it's been officially announced that actually sorry if until i see and hear that both fighters have signed the contract and that it has been officially announced by Eddie Hearn that this fight is on, I'm not gonna get carried away with it. Obviously, it's great to hear that Deontay Wilder signed his part of the deal and that Matchroom will receive that contract pretty soon in the next couple of days. That's great. So that's we're 50% there. What we need to see is the other 50% come in, sign the contract and then announce the fight. That's all I've really got to say right now, guys. Um, as the story breaks a little bit more and more information comes out there comes out um you know obviously i'll do more videos and keep you updated but that's where i stand with it yes it's like i said it's encouraging to see we're now another step closer to this fight potentially happening but we still got another 50 percent to go that's my take on it as always guys like share and subscribe until next time this is cypherbox reminding you to keep it real